Maybe I am it was her hand running. Maybe I am maybe it was waking up something else. I am don't know what looking it, at you what it was I for the very first time. Don't know what I am it was I don't looking at you. Hi, this is Justin Spring. Um, one of the, the requirements of the uh, Wrangling Trust Foundation, which awarded me a, a, a very nice prize uh, for my novel Alice Hickey, was that I make a, uh, a public report or a reading of some kind. Uh, and I thought it would be good just to do something on video on YouTube especially since uh, although Alice Hickey is classified as a novel, it's really a fictionalized memoir um, of a period in my life uh, uh, from about 2000 through 2007, about a seven year period that I spent trying to untangle a series of psychic events, uh, voices and a vision that I had um, uh, back in 2000, 2001, and in order to do that, I enlisted the, the, the help of some friends who were intuitives here in Sarasota, and since the action takes place uh, mainly here in Sarasota, but sometimes in uh, Tavernier Key, where my friend Pinga Dentista lived, uh, and sometimes in Santa Monica, California, where Joan Adley lived uh, f for a time. Uh, she's now back in you know, Sarasota. Uh, she w she was moving around, you know, quite a bit in that period, uh, both in Sedona and then to Santa Monica, California, and then eventually down to a uh, little dusty town in the middle of the Sonoran Desert called Alamos, um, uh, where where she. You spent some years in a home there, and um, then finally the other geographic location where a lot of the action takes place is in Panama, and uh, in Panama City, uh, particularly uh, with my aunt Mercedes Noriega, uh, although it was spread out to the San Blas Islands as well, since that's a place where Pinga Dentista was diving for treasure. Um, so I, so I, I thought it'd be good just to show you some your pictures of them, which I've done very quickly now as I've gone through this. I've just flashed some pictures up for you, but I'm going to go through a little bit of the action of the book, and if you want to take a look at the book prior to its being published as a free uh, PDF you can download. And if you look on the screen, you'll see uh, there's an address there. You can copy that. And you can go there. You can download a free PDF. There's also a, a web page that's going to be shown to you now uh, that contains some of the background material for Alice Hickey as uh, what happened uh, during that seven-year period, I just took 
what they call your copious notes. I kept a very detailed journey of my thoughts and of the things that were happening as I tried to puzzle them out with the help of the various intuitives. The, the major one being Alice Hickey herself, who, who has a home out, or had a home. Uh, she's now in China, uh, but who had a home way on the end of Fruitville in, the, in a section uh, just past I-75 that's the, that has a lot of bad dog signs around it. You know, the, the people have been living there for a long time, and uh, it's very heavily treed, and, and um, that's where her home was out there, a little uh, home which had a flatbed truck. I'll just flash a picture of that for you, too, that she drove that used to smoke up the town. So that's a kind of range of some other characters. I should mention a couple more because, in fact, you may know them. One is Jane Washington, who was a singer and a poet in Newtown that I worked with on occasion. The other was Diane Randall, a very gifted intuitive that I met during my, my search to try to figure out what these voices, and, and in fact, in particular, a very long poem that came to me. You could equate it to a vision, I guess. It's a poem that came to me in Santa Monica uh, that I didn't have the slightest idea what a large part of it meant. And in fact, I don't even know if I still do. I have a pretty good guess, I think, but uh, that was the last of the, the psychic events that happened in about 2001. And then all the rest of the time I spent trying to untangle it until finally um, Alice Hickey came back into my life. Uh, and I say come back because the, because the book opens where I'm searching through a bin of tomatoes in a supermarket, which happens to be the Winn-Dixie up by Sarasota Gardens next to a, 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 a uh, elderly woman, gray-haired, and um, with the most astonishing uh, pale eyes that were almost you could look right through her. And um, when she came up close to me, she said something to me, and I couldn't understand it. It was kind of muffled, and then I heard a voice inside my head tell me I hadn't found what I was looking for. And it just I just uh, basically dropped my jaw. I, I couldn't understand how that could happen. For some reason, I've, I've heard psychic voices in terms of stress uh, or high creativity, but this seemed to have come from Alice Hickey, as though she spoke inside my mind, although I could see her talking and she was moving her lips, but it was kind of muffled. I must have gone into some kind of trance. I don't know what happened, but that very short message appeared in my mind, and then Alice disappeared. And came back some three years later when I was at the end of my rope. All I had exhausted all of my help here through Jane Washington and Diane Randall and Joan Adley trying to figure out what exactly was happening and why these particular messages and visions and this long poem uh, that, I, that I eventually came to call the Witnesses Log, um, uh, why they had come to me and you know, what they meant. So you can you can say that the book starts in a supermarket in Sarasota and it soon winds up out in in um, Santa Monica with Joan Adley where um, one evening the poem started to come to me and uh, we you know, quickly recorded it as an oral version that's in a, in a oral poetry I call soul speak which allows you to speak spontaneous poems. Uh, I didn't know what it meant, but I knew it was right as it was coming out of my mouth, and Joan helped me make it in the antiphonal fashion where the antiphonal responder adds to the story. So it was a really, uh, it was an event that was quite stunning. Uh, and, but I, but in fact, I still didn't know what I meant, and I came back to Sarasota with uh, more questions than I had when I went out to Santa Monica to seek some.